Mm -hmm. Hey there. Sorry I'm late. Hey. Mm, that's okay. How are you? Good. Did you order anything? Mm, not yet. Hello, what can I get you? Um, I'll have coffee and a croissant, please. Cream and sugar? No, thanks. I need one more minute. Okay. So, what's the big news you wanted to tell me? Ah, uh, I'm pregnant. Oh my god! Congratula congratulations! That's huge! Is everything okay? No, it's not. I don't want the baby. I want to get an abortion. What? Abort? Um, what the hell are you talking about? Yes, abort. I can barely even say it out loud with all this pro-choice, pro-life stuff going around these days, but I'm not ready for a baby. We're not... can't... Uh... Martha, what's bothering you? We can't afford a baby right now. We're already drowning in debt, and a baby costs a hell of a lot of money. This is your first baby. How could she even think like that? Wally, calm down. Don't you ask me to calm down, okay? Okay, okay, got it. Like, what's the matter? I mean, what's going through in your head? Is it about us? Us trying for a baby for past three years and not able to conceive? Is that what this is about? It's just not that. I mean, who gives her the right? It's her life. It's her life. She's the one who's going to give birth to baby and raise. And if couple decide they can't afford... Oh, please. Can't you see people with minimum wages trying to raise their children? When did people stop having children because it cost them? I mean, this is the very attitude that I detest. See, this is not India. Here, all the decisions are economical. And why are you fighting with me? Wait a minute. Did you fight with Martha too? It wasn't a fight, but I had to say what I had to say. Wally, you can't make their decision for them. Neither can I. Sometimes, not even for you. No one can. It's their decision to make. Unless we step into their shoe, we don't know what they're going through, do we? Really? That's bullshit. You know? What bullshit is, that we're not doing what we're supposed to do. I'm not in the mood, Ratan. So be it. Four years in a row. No, 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 no. I do want to have a baby. <laughs> and Mrs. Sina, I have good news for you. Pregnancy has been confirmed and it's time to celebrate. Thank you, doctor. We have been waiting for this moment for a long time. You know what we went through or past experience, but this is great news. We don't want anything to go wrong. Please let us know the do's and don'ts. Of course. Yeah, I can give you some manuals which can help you with that. You do let us know in case of any issues. And but first we need to perform a few tests. Just formality sake. That's just normal. So uh, there are some classes coming up this Sunday. Uh, make sure you attend them. And uh, we have complete guidance from our side. Just follow the lead and you will be fine. <laughs> thank you, doctor. I really can't thank you enough. Hey, 
Hey, Louis! Hey, Rutan! Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, wow. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. I thought you went back to Detroit. We did. We recently moved back. Yeah? Meet my wife, Prabalika. Hello. Hi. This is Hello. Kriti. Oh. Yeah. This is uh, Louis. Hi. When I came here as a student, nice to meet you. I lived with them, like Kriti does with us. How's life? Good. Doing good. Yeah? Good. Where's Jessica? Angel, come. Hi, Ratan. Hey, Jessica. How are you? Good to see Good you. Good to see you. Hey, Angel. Pravalika, this is Hi. Jessica. Yes, yes, dear. This Good is my daughter, you. We saw your Angel. Wedding Thank you. Wish <laughs> you a beauty. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I need to tell you something important. What's that? You can't even guess. We are pregnant. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to come in for some coffee? No, no, no we have to get going. going. Some other time, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, stop by. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. See you later. Good Congratulations. You. See you later. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. All right, this is, I can't fix this. What happened to the daughter? She has a medical condition. She's roughly 18 now, but still needs to be taken care like a toddler. Wow. That must be very hard for the parents. Yeah. They were really nice. Yeah? I liked them. He's an awesome guy. A wonderful person. I swear. <laughs> no, I'm knitting, and my baby will wear it, no matter how the sweater turns out. <laughs> Hang on one second. Hey, the doctor's calling. Let me call you right back. Hi, Doc. Yeah. Uh, is everything okay? The reports say that there is a possibility of the baby suffering from Down syndrome. So to confirm that, uh, we need to perform a couple more tests. What is Down syndrome? Biologically speaking, except those chromosomes that determine the gender of the baby XX and XY, the remaining chromosomes have two copies while babies with the Down syndrome have three copies for the 21st chromosome. This is uh, discovered by Dr. Down and it's very rare though. Is the baby safe? Is there any danger to its life? Mrs. Sina, I asked you not to have a fear of failure, didn't I? Of course your baby's fine. In fact, people with such conditions can have up to 60 years of lifespan. But the problem here is, these people cannot reach up to the mental state of even a 10-year-old their entire life. So their immunity levels are low, which means they would be suffering from a lot of diseases mentally and physically. So they need a lot of support from the family and they always need medical attention all the time through their entire life. Hey guys, cheer up. This was just a primary test there are 98% chances that you would give birth to a healthy baby. Once the amniocentesis test results are out, we will be able to give you the accurate status. So now, it's you who should decide if you want to go for the test in the first place. Once the test is performed, there has to be a two-month gap before the second one is done. But might risk the fetus. In the amniocentesis test, some fluid from the amniotic bag has to be taken via needle. Then tests are performed on that fluid. About the risk, I have varied and contrasting search results. One of the links says that it's very unlikely that it will harm the baby. The risk is around 1 to 2%. However, another link reveals that um, 40 healthy ones out of 66 children tested for Down syndrome are dying. I'm 
just scared, Ratan. Why is this happening to us? What do we do? I think we should go for it. I can't see you stressed like this. Let's clear it out. Mr. and Mrs. Sina, I am sorry. It's positive. Most of such cases end up in an abortion. Of course, with some legal formalities. If that's your choice, we can get you started right away. I just checked. We have an appointment coming up next week. Sure, you have our complete assistance. I want you to decide on that. Hey there, Pravalika, darling. I'm calling to inform you, no, invite you to my baby shower. It's a Sunday. Yeah, I know. I talked to you about abortion and stuff, but you know what? It was you. <sighs> Though they came out of anger. Your words had an impact on me. If I had to thank anybody, I have to thank you. I'm really happy today. I'm gonna have the baby, and I understand how no reason is good enough to end a life. <laughs> You're welcome. And congratulations. I'll see you then. Bye. She took my advice. Whose advice should I take? Hey guys. Hi. Good to see you. Come on in. Thank you. Take a seat. Ratan and Pravalika are here. It's okay. Hey there, Ratan. Ratan, you could have given me a call. That way I would have made sure things were all right. Yeah. Never mind. What's wrong with Pravalika? She was glowing the last time we saw her. Now she kind of looks sad to me. I don't know. Thanks, Jessica. I don't know how to say this. Our baby is diagnosed with Down syndrome. Well, what can I say? You guys are lucky. When Angel was born, we thought she was God's gift to us, but her thought she would be a burden. Have we sinned? Every day when I see her, I pity our family. What have you done? to deserve this. I know I can't blame anybody. We have isolated ourselves socially, not because we're embarrassed, because we are jealous. Why couldn't we be like all of them, leading normal lives with normal problems? You know how it was, surrounded by friends and family, still. We were abandoned. The reason why we came back is because we finally were able to convince ourselves that there's no point in hiding. Whatever happens, 
just let it happen. Despite all of this, we love our child. I wish that solved everything, but it doesn't. We are tired. The few people we had contact with appreciate how we care for Angel, trying to behave normally and trying to be happy. But appreciations are different from actions. When we request anyone to take care of her, no one comes forward, not a single soul. This is a bad, bad world. And there are bad people in it. There have been instances of molesting. We somehow saved it going too far. But who knows when our luck will run out. You know what our biggest fear is? She may live long. Longer than we do. Have you thought of something? This is not easy for me either. We do have a choice of letting go of this baby. We can try again, and if nothing works out, and you know there are other ways to conceive too. But if you want this baby, our baby, I'm okay with that. You have the final say. say that. I have a child inside of me. Our child. A living thing. Something I've wanted for so long. You know, all my life decisions were made for me. Which college I went to, to what I took in that college, to the career I was supposed to have, to even marrying you. I mean, I love you. But Finally, when I have dreams of my own, life of my own, I'm put at these crossroads, like... <laughs> Am I to give up everything that I worked so hard for? Raise this child? I mean, what's gonna happen to us? I did. <laughs> I love this child already. Maybe we were meant to have it. But what if all the fears we and Jessica have come true for us? I, I couldn't bear that. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Where are we going? To Martha's baby shower or to the hospital? What's your decision?